it's Maddie Gray. Today we're going to talk about my seven product makeup routine. If you're new to my channel, what's up? Hey, I'm Maddie. I make videos about minimalism and healthy living. And today we're just going to hang out, get ready together, and I'm going to show you what's in my minimalist makeup kit. I used to be one of those people with a closet full of clothes and I felt like I had nothing to wear and I felt the same exact way with my makeup. I had tons and tons of makeup and I never used it. And now that I've simplified to about seven products, sometimes it fluctuates to a 10 if I include the witch hazel and things like that. Um, but I actually do it. I take the time because it doesn't take much time and it's just simple and I really love it. So I'm starting with witch hazel. I like to just spritz my face with that. And then I've been using carrot seed oil as my day and night cream. I find that it's actually quite a luxury to just give up the whole like searching for the next best pro like having a bunch of different serums and creams and obsessing about the flaws in my skin and searching for all the best products to fix all those things it's just nice to kind of like accept that this is my skin this is my age like this is what it is in some ways I don't know if that makes any sense at all but I find that I just take better care of my skin too like just putting on this oil day and night um, yeah, there's something freeing about it. And I've talked about this in a previous video. I think it was my baby must-haves. But I live at the beach and I, I'm trying to be better at putting on sunscreen. And I found this one that I really, really like. It's actually, I think it only comes in one shade, but whatever the shade is, it's exactly my skin color. I hope you've ever had that like wondrous moment when you find a product that's exactly your skin color. It's so satisfying. So sometimes I just wear this as my makeup and nothing else. I'm using this little tiny razor to shape my eyebrows. I don't do this every day, but sometimes it just needs to be done, you know? Okay, so to be completely honest, I'm not the hugest fan of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Um, I was potentially a little bit addicted to shape tape. And then I realized just all the weird ingredients that are in Shape Tape and I decided to switch to the Amazonian clay for like more everyday use. But the reality is that I don't even wear it every day. Like I said, I use that just tinted sunscreen on a more regular basis. But if I'm feeling fancy, then I put this on. Um, so I don't know, I might just like go back to the Shape Tape. Unless you guys know of like a concealer that compares to Shape Tape that's more natural, please tell me. I feel like when I do make the time for myself to just put on like a couple skincare products and just take a few minutes for myself, I am so much more put together and productive throughout the day. So it's actually something I'm trying to do more often because I feel like it's just a form of self-care for me and yeah, I just feel so much better throughout the day when I do it. And speaking of minimizing makeup products, I minimized all my makeup brushes and I just, you know, used my hands. And um, this looks crazy, but also as like a makeup setting powder, I use the backside piece of the toilet paper. Listen, don't knock it till you try it. It works really well. I learned it in a Gwyneth Paltrow book, okay? So it's legit. I do have one makeup brush still and I just use it for everything. It's like a big, I don't even use it in this video, but when I do put on bronzer, I use it and if I use powder blush I use it I just don't have powder blush you'll see that in a minute um and I actually ran out of my eyebrow pencil <laughs> this whole video is just like me not having makeup I used up my eyebrow pencil and I just haven't bought a new one because I've been using my eyeliner as my eyebrow pencil and it's just fine so whatever it's just a little behind the scenes moment I'm on my couch right now with my dog and she is snoring so loud <laughs> She's a pug and she just can't help it, okay? My gosh, dude. <laughs> and then in lieu of lipstick or anything like that, I just use this lip crayon um, from Mineral Fusion. I think I bought it at Whole Foods in the shade Elegant and I've used it for years. I think it's just like the perfect shade for looking natural, like my actual lip color. And then, maybe my favorite product is this Living Libations, I don't know if it's a lip stain or a cheek stain or both, but I use it as both. 
and I think it looks so natural and just like makes my skin look more healthy. And this is about it. This is usually my last step is just curling my eyelashes and then I'm done. But on this day, I did use mascara. So the first thing I do is curl my eyelashes like usual. And then I use some of this Surfer Curl by Tarte mascara in the shade brown because black mascara, I don't know why, but black mascara looks crazy on me. Maybe it's because I have really long eyelashes and my bottom lashes are actually even longer than my top ones. But brown mascara is where it's at for me. And gosh, I'm just, what do people talk about during makeup routine videos? I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> Here's me putting on my makeup. Here's me putting on some more makeup. I'm assuming if you're watching this, you know how to put on makeup. And I'm definitely not your girl to teach you if you don't know. So, yeah. Mascara's hard though. Do you ever get to a point in life where you stop getting it all over your eyelids when you try to put it on? I hope so. Did anyone else think about that scene from Princess Diaries when Mia gets transformed by Paolo every time they finish their makeup? <laughs> nope. Just me? <laughs> okay, cool. Paolo is exhausted because Majesty, only Paolo, can take this and this and give you a princess. And typically I do not leave my hair down all day. It ends up in a bun for sure. But since I have all these little baby hairs from postpartum growing back, I like to just like, feel like I'm channeling Blake Lively when I do it, which makes me feel real good. Okay, I wanna show you also my outfit for today. I'm wearing this blouse from Old Market. It has like some embroidery on it. I feel like it kind of looks like a grandma like nightgown, but I'm here for it. My favorite little gold necklace. My favorite ring that I wear every single day. And also my favorite linen they have, they are drawstring, they have pockets. Um, I'm gonna do, maybe by the time this video's up, or it'll be my next video, a capsule wardrobe tour, where I show you everything in my 10 item wardrobe. As I get older, I truly find that less is more, and that it applies to almost everything, makeup included. And while it is self-care for me to put these few products on my skin and feel a bit more put together, it's also self-care for me to just be in nature, to be at the beach or not wear makeup too, and that's okay. Most of the time, in fact, I'm not wearing makeup. I'm just doing mom life and being with my kids. But on the days that I do, this is what I wear. Thanks for watching. <laughs>